Welcome to your market update charts of the day. It's Friday, the 24th of May, 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's have a look at what's come across the news over the last few hours. Of course, we saw a weak session for US equities overnight, with all the major indices lower as the markets have begun to price in a lower likelihood of a rate cut in September. Economic data continues to come in quite strong with the Fed minutes narrative being quite hawkish this week, then there's around about a 50% chance of a rate cut in September. That's dropped significantly from around about a 68% chance last week. NVIDIA was the bright spot as the Dow posted its worst ever year. And of course, NVIDIA bounced on that earnings result released after the bell the previous day. US futures are slightly higher though in Asian trading, suggesting and no capitulation and context is important here we're only slightly off our record high still asian markets however are following that weak us lead asx is down around 1.1 percent in early trading and european futures are also pointing to a lower open as that's when the us markets hit their high on european close last night us dollar index continued to bounce up off the 200 ma had a strong week with five successive days of gains some follow through in asia again Today, gold of the week again, and May test 2300, quite a significant drop of around about 6.5% over the last couple of days from those record highs. And copper futures paused after the previous day's drop again, which looked very significant. Oil did close that three month lows overnight as it continues to look quite bearish and has breached support this week. Bitcoin has pulled back from 70,000 after strength earlier in the week. There is a key level of around about 66,600 which was previous resistance. It'll be interesting to see if it holds that. On the data front, we've had some soft CPI data coming out of Japan. Later on, we've got US durable goods, UK retail sales and German GDP, all of which have potential market moving potential to a small degree. Let's have a look at a couple of charts at Core RI today. Young Coal Australia, ticket code YAL, are pushing still against this 625. It did actually start lower today, as you can see. Uh, but we put a resistance level in there around about 663 as the next key level after 625. So want to keep an eye and see where it closes, but we suspect it may not breach that level at 625 un until next week. In the FX world, the Euro Aussie is looking interesting. We've got a pivot level here at 163.90. We've actually put a, a line in at 164. We think that's the key level. And if that is breached, uh, then we could see it up perhaps to 164.50 so potential 50 pip move to the upside to be had if this is merely a retracement and then we get further buying coming in that german gdp number this afternoon is obviously going to have an impact on euro crosses so it's worthwhile being patient until after that trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now